Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Senator Jerry Moran. He is one of the two senators for the state of Kansas and he is a Republican. Before he took office, he was preceded in office by Sam Brownback. Now, let's go ahead and look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Great Bend, Kansas on May the 29th, 1954. Attended Plainville High School in Plainville, Kansas. Graduated from the University of Kansas in Lawrence, Kansas earned a Bachelor of Science, earning a Bachelor of Science in 1976. Graduated from Kansas University School of Law in Lawrence, Kansas, earning a JD in 1981. He was an MBA candidate at Fort Hayes State University in Hayes, Kansas. He was a bank officer and instructor at Fort Hayes State University in Hayes, Kansas. Member of the Kansas State Senate, 1989 to 1997. Serving as vice president of that body from 1993 to 1995. Majority leader of that body, 1995 to 1997. He was Kansas State Special Attorney General, 1982 to 1985. Deputy Attorney for Rooks County, Kansas, 1987 to 1995. Uh, University of Kansas School of Law in Lawrence, Kansas Board of Governors, serving as Vice President of that body from 1993 to 1994, and then president of that body from 1994 to 1995. Board of Directors for the Kansas Chamber of Commerce and Industry, 1996 to 1997, before being elected as a Republican to the 105th Congress and six following Congresses, and choosing not to run as a candidate for re-election to the House of Representatives, but would be elected as a Republican to the U.S. Senate in 2010 and re-elected in 2016 and again in 2022 for the term ending January 3rd, 2029. Now, let's go ahead and look at the committees. He is on. Okay, he is on the Select Committee on Intelligence. He is on the Committee on Indian Affairs. He is on the Committee on Veterans Affairs, of which he is a ranking member. He is on the Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions. He is on the Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation, of which he is on the Subcommittee on Aviation, Safety, Operations, and Innovation, of which he is a ranking member he is on the Subcommittee on Communications, Media, and Broadband. He is on the Subcommittee on Consumer Protection, Product Safety, and Data Security. And he is on the Subcommittee on Oceans, Fisheries, Climate Change, and Manufacturing. He is on the Committee on Appropriations, of which he is on the Subcommittee on Agriculture, Rural Development, Food and Drug Administration, and Related Agencies. 
He is on the Subcommittee on Commerce, Justice, Science, and Related Agencies, of which he is a ranking member. He is on the Subcommittee on Defense, the Subcommittee on Labor, Health, and Human Services, and Education and Related Agencies. He's on the Subcommittee on State Foreign Operations and Related Agencies. And he's on the Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing, and Urban Development and Related Agencies. Now, let's go ahead and look at his top five industry donors over his career. At the top, Securities and Investment who have donated $1,219,399. Next is Crop Production and Basic Processing, who have donated $1,140,580. Next is Leadership Packs, who have donated $1,007,868. Next is Health Professionals, who have donated $946,900. And fifth is Agricultural Services and Products, who have donated $923,661. Now, let's go ahead and look at his top five individual donors and contributors over his career. At the top, number one, we have Sikora or Sikiora Custom Homes. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but yeah. Um, I guess it would be a provider manufacturer of homes. Um, but yeah, uh, there was... I found a Siki or a custom uh, man building or whatever, but I didn't find actual custom homes. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, they have donated $163,500. And once again, that's Siki or a custom homes. Next, at number two, we have Coke Industries. And they are an American multinational conglomerate based in Wichita, Kansas, and the second largest privately held company in the U.S. after Cargill. Altogether, they have donated $151,450. Once again, that's Coke Industries. Next, at number three, we have Union Pacific Corporation, also known as the Union Pacific Railroad. And they are a Class 1 freight hauling railroad that operates 8,300 locomotives over 32,200 miles uh, routes in the 23 U.S. states west of Chicago and New Orleans. Altogether, it has donated $105,587. And once again, that's the Union Pacific Corporation. Next, at number four, we have Canadian Pacific Kansas City. And they are a Class 1 railroad in North America that resulted from the merger of Canadian Pacific Railway and Kansas City Southern on April the 14th, 2023. Altogether, it has donated $98,300. And once again, that's Canadian Pacific Kansas City. And finally, in fifth, we have APAC, the American Israel Public Affairs Committee, 
a lobbying group that advocates pro-Israel policies to the legislative and executive branches of the United States. And a piece of garbage organization. Anyway, they have donated $96,300, and once again, that's APAC. Now looking at his donors at a glance, industry-wise, securities and investment, ooh, crop production and basic processing, oh, okay, leadership packs, boo, suck, health professionals, yeah, health, agricultural services and products, okay, individually, Secor Custom Homes, Okay. Coke Industries. Ooh. Union Pacific Corporation. Meh. Okay. Canadian Pacific Co Kansas City. Okay. APAC. Boo. Suck. But this has been a look at Senator Jerry Moran who is one of the two senators for the state of Kansas. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting links in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.